Welcome to Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that was established in 2009 and is still inactive today. With divine inspiration, Pastor Paul Rika is an inspired teacher of holiness. His fervent teachings will take listeners to a new level of understanding, holiness, and righteousness. Come to this faith, your child shall be healed. People shall get out of their life, whether they are here or not here. Come to this faith, your husband shall be delivered. That people shall fly away in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray a divine father we stand to mourn with you because of the state of the church you have done it all but our fellows are not responding God we can't give up we know the implication of ignorance of darkness of rebellion the scripture has said hell has enlarged herself and when they go they shall not come back but now they behave like animals that have no sense Jesus will intercede for them look back to your church recover your church let righteousness and holiness come to your church. Amen. Father, seated here are your children, servants, faithful ones that you have brought to this conference. And this matter pertains unto them. O oh Lord divine, may they hear you. Amen. May they understand you. Amen. May the fire burn in their hearts concerning the state of the church and as remnant may we do what we are to do according to your guidance in jesus name we pray the deplorable state of christ church today the deplorable state of christ church today quite early before the apostolic era was over even when apostle john was still alive the church of god began to manifest spiritual faults and backsliding the situation is worst today. At the time of Apostle John, the Lord made him to write letters to seven churches to show their conditions. In his letter to Ephesus, the church in Ephesus, he has this to say in Revelation chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. Revelation chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. Nevertheless, I have some, I have somewhat against thee because. Thou that title has is left seven. thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place except 
thou repent. This church were walking, but they were walking like robots. The presence of the person they were working for had disappeared from their minds. The consciousness of Jesus was not in them. So, the passionate love of the Savior, of the Lord, of the Master was not in them. You see, they were walking like the robots. They could do some things well, but for who? Whom are you walking for? No, the first love was not there. Passionate love was not there. And because of the absence of the consciousness of God, they could do wrongs. They could offend. They could do some things of their own. Even as they served on. The Lord says, you have fallen. That is it today. Many are not conscious of Jesus. That's the book which I review tomorrow. Remember Jesus in all your ways and at all times. Remember Jesus. The Ephesian church had this problem. And the Lord says, repent of that type of life. Serving God without being conscious of him. Without knowing him. Doing the work like a robot. Whom are you working for? Why don't you know him? Why don't you set him before you? Put me in remembrance. Again, the church in Pergamos had the problem too. They had allowed false teachers to pollute the members revelation chapter 14 on chapter 2 rather verse 14 and 10, chapter 2 let's go there verse 14 and 15 but i have a few things against thee because thou hast there them that call the doctrine of balaam who taught balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eating sacrifice unto idols and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. I'm saying quite early in the church, false teachers had come in. And we're teaching people things that turned them away from God. We have them in our day. They have turned people from God to handkerchief. They have, taught, they have turned people from God to anointing oil. They have turned the faith of the children of God to stones and sand, sand from Jerusalem. To anointing or anointed objects, them that taught the doctrines of Nicolaitans, which I hate. The faith of the people have been turned away. We have them now. Some of you are moving with anointing oil. It's not so in the Bible days. It's not taught. No apostle taught you to be going with anointing oil. But these teachers have turned everything, even to the water we have here. Just for us to see the beauty of nature, 
I hope that somebody went to fetch it and drink and say, I will be healed. This is healing water. Who told you? Did you see the name of Jesus there? Inside the water? That is what they have done to you. They have turned your face. Now, if you pray for people, they don't believe anymore. You must anoint them with oil. Is it the type of anointing with oil the Lord taught in James chapter 5? Over a man that is sick that had to call elders to his house. But the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Various teachings have come. Pray at 12 midnight. Pray naked. Eat sand. Eat grass. Go 21 days. Go 40. Go 120. So you left Jesus and you're going on walks. Teaching people things that have no scriptural connections. Wrong scriptural interpretations. So that's the church. That is the church. They have turned off. Again, the church in Tyre was hijacked by a witch prophet, prophetess of the kind of Jezebel which inspired the members to practice idolatry and initiated many into witchcraft. Hey, Jesus, quite early. In Revelation chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not. We have announced it to you. All these people who will be bringing food to your meeting places, they, eh, let the brethren eat free. We don't accept it. Because this woman Jezebel is trying to pollute people is trying to initiate people children teacher except the church gives you those things don't buy your things and start giving to children don't we didn't give you hungry children except the church bought those things and give you and it must be supervised so leaders take care of these people because these Jezebels this is how to initiate children how to initiate people by what you eat yes in our conference we pray a lot over all that go to cook in the kitchen why let them not initiate pour anything to initiate people Thank God this is a place of power. All those things, the Lord will cancel them in Jesus' name. Yeah. And the Lord judge, judge firmly, strongly, all witches and wizards that come to pollute our food. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes. To the church. In Sardis. They had a name that they were a church but was dead already. Dead already. Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. On, and unto the angel of the church in Sardis, write, this thing said he, that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest and art dead. Can you say that? And at dead. This was when one of the apostles, one of the chiefest apostles was still alive on earth. Writing to church, to the church. See a church already dead. 
to the church in Laodicea. The Bible showed it was neither cold nor hot and was full of worthlessness. Look at it in Revelation chapter 3, verse 13 to 16. Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, verse 15. I knew thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wet cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. These are metaphoric statements. And not really that. Go and do it. They are metaphoric statements. Because the people in those days could use eyes of, but not now. Now, these things are worthless. They were. But we're using them because they wanted to see. You want to see truly is the spiritual eyes of, which you buy from God. Is the Holy Spirit. The wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Not the physical things. Don't use them. So, you can see. However, the remnant was preserved in Christ in the then world. And these suffered attacks from Satan and the backsliding church. They were the church in Smyrna. Revelation chapter 2. Verse 8 to 10. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write, This thing said the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto day, and I will give thee the crown of life. This is a remnant. For a remnant shall be saved. A remaining portion that still maintain it. A remaining portion. Down the ages, there had always been, there have, there has always been remnant. Down the ages, the church in Samana. What a persecution! That the devil raised up against them, saying, "All have bowed." Why must you not? All have surrendered. Why must you not? I've overtaken all. Why not you? Bow also. And the church said we will never bow. Bow, we say we will never bow. Contention with the devil. And the church in Philadelphia. Revelation chapter 3. Revelation. Chapter 3, verse 7 to verse 11. And unto the angel of the church in Philadelphia, Right, this thing said he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that opened it and no man shut it, and shut it and no man opened it. I know thy words, and behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word 
and has not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Which hour of temptation that shall come upon all the world? It is the tribulation, the great tribulation of the Antichrist that introduces another person to be God. I will keep you from that man. The rapture shall take place before the great tribulation. I will keep you from that man. Why? You have kept my word. A remnant must be saved. Except the Lord has left for us a remnant. We had all together been as Sodom and as Gomorrah in the present world. I mean, the church of Christ. Yes. Yeah. The situation of Christ's church today. The situation of Christ's church today. It's like Nehemiah that came to his people with great burden, with great sorrow. It was not normal to be sorrowful before the king as one bringing food to the king. But it overwhelmed him when he heard of Jerusalem. Had been brought, the walls broken. The gates burnt with fire. That is it. That's the state of the church, my brother. That's the state of the church. In the physical, the, the Boko Harams, the Fulani headsmen, the Muslims and other people as in battle against Christians aim at the churches to burn them down, to burn them down. As you see physical, the spiritual also has been done by Satan and his organized army. In the spiritual world, tribes do not count. Families do not count. Because they are under a greater authority than the physical authority. The rules are terrible. So, the devil has arranged against Christianity in the world. Churches against churches. Christian societies, Christian individuals, host of army. Your son can be one of these armies set up against you, against the church. Your daughter, your wife, your husband can be one of these armies set up against the church. Although physically, He's walking and the is cooperating with you. It's not. They are walking against you. Why? Because their master is against Jesus. And has organized army. And these people have done great damage to the church. That as you see physically, the buildings of the church burnt down. They are so in the spiritual people are not connected with god anymore in some of these places is tribal war that is organized to disconnect the people from jesus because when the war came, comes up they say go to this man he will dress you so that bullets will not enter into you then jesus cannot be there anymore because you're using charm jesus cannot be there anymore you may even be made to eat human flesh. 
because it gives you more power and makes you to be more lost fearless jesus is not there so organization has been done must be made to clear you some is love of money bitcoin pepsi which one again they have brought get rich quick methods to put the lust of money in your heart the love of money in your heart and the bible says the love of money is the root of all evil now that you're running quickly to get money he that has seen it with his feet seen it you're a sinner your power connection with god is no more you are now serving the god of mammon I'm telling you, it's scientifically arranged to destroy the church. No connection. You're not connected anymore. Money has removed you. Sometimes it's lust of women. They put the lust of man, lust of men, of women in your heart. You are running after everything about you, woman, you man. See her nakedness, see her body, see, oh, let me get this. You are disconnected. I'm telling you, these things are arranged so that you have nothing to do with God anymore. You see physical decay, spiritual decay is more. Spiritual decay is more. In another system, go to the Western world, lie. Everything is a lie. They build lie into all successes. That before you succeed, you tell lies. And they will welcome your lies. They give you form to feel, and in the form there is a lie there. You can tell it, and nobody bothers. Who told you that nobody bothers? Your name has been removed from the book of life. Who said nobody bothers? It's God that bothers. The distress. That's why when Nehemiah came to his people, he said, Yes, see the distress that we are in. How Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates have been burnt with fire. So I'm saying, let's see the let, let's see the distress. Let's consider the distress the church is in. Righteousness has been removed. The people are not seeing Jesus anymore. The righteousness of Jesus is not considered. Don't talk about holiness, which is real consecration, purification of your life. And to absolute surrender to him in your heart and in your words. Where do you find them? The ministers are too busy. They're too busy looking for money. They're too busy looking for, in fact, the women have caught them. The women have caught the ministers. They are busy having girlfriends among the people there. So, that's the church. That's the situation. That's the situation. The Bible tells us prophets feed themselves and not the church. In Ezekiel chapter 34, Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 1 to 4, the Bible tells us here, saying, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of, Jeru of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Pastors are looking for their own now. Pastors want to build houses. Buy special cars, run special businesses for themselves. Pastor wants to divide the money between the church and themselves. And this is my own. This is my own. You founded the church for Jesus. Of course, if those working under you, who may not have access to the whole thing, can have their own. What about you? No, I must be rich. I must have my own. Because they are running competition somewhere. The richest pastor. Verse 3. Ye eat the fat. Ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fat. But ye feed not the flock. 
the disease have ye not strengthened. Neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken. Neither have ye brought again that which was driven away. Neither have ye sought that which was lost. But with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. That is a situation. Is the heart of the pastors on people going to heaven? Where? Where do you find that man? Where do you find him? Whose heart is in getting the people go to heaven? Whose heart is in getting the people purified? is among the remnant if you see him he's among the remnant otherwise the majority of the ministers have gone into self life lovers of their own self yes the lord's church became scattered wandering about and suffered various attacks of the enemy the church now is wandering about. The members are wandering about. No teaching. No systematic teaching. They don't know what is in the Bible because they're not taught. There's no time to teach it. All time is for the money. Oh, it's for money. Money has taken over. Yes. Ezekiel chapter 34. Verse 5. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. And they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yea. My flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. And none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the words of the Lord. The church. You see people not joining secret society in the church. Because they are not taught the fear of God. The children are not taught the fear of God. And they are looking for where, what to satisfy. God said to Abraham, I am thy shield and exceeding great reward. I am your satisfaction. If you know God, he is your satisfaction. You are satisfied. You don't need any other thing. But these children are not taught who God is. They are not taught the ways of God. They are not taught the righteousness of God. They are not taught the truth of God. They wander away. They wander on top of the mountains, down the valleys, and become prey to every wind, um, wind of doctrines. They go to the internet and get themselves initiated, children of the church. The ministers didn't care. They never gathered them for conferences. They never gathered them for prayer meetings, night vigils. To ward away the devils from their life. They never cast out those demons from them. You see the stair? So, the church is now occultic. The church goes into witchcraft. The elders themselves are witches and wizards. Hmm. We went to one of the places. The Lord shot a church and said, in this church, all of them are witches and wizards. I think there was one man there, either one or two people, that were not in witchcraft. So, they can turn church meeting into witchcraft meeting in a code date way such that this remaining one or two will not hear. It's the same. But Bible is on top of the pulpit. You see the distress we are in. How the church of God lieth west and the gates are burnt with fire. What a reproach. What a reproach. The people don't know God. The people don't know God. And the elders shared burning among themselves. 
they, 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 they go to bribe their way to posting, favorable posting, and go to milk out from the people, borrow and not pay. So that's the state of the church. The pastors commit adultery and teach lies that do not benefit the people. Jeremiah 23 verse 9 to 14. Jeremiah 23 verse 9 to 14. The Bible says, Yes. Verse 9. Yes. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. This is Jeremiah talking. He is a prophet himself too. But this name prophet, if you see what people do with it, if you see the people who are called by it, my heart is within me, is broken with all my bones shake. I am like a drunken man. I like a man whom wine had overcome because of the Lord and because of the weights of his holiness that have been disdained, that have been trampled on the feet. Jesus died on the cross to give a congregation to human beings to milk for their greatness they say they founded the church they founded the church yes they founded the church in a revelation jesus came and was moving from one church to another then he came to a very big congregation and told the man, hey, come here. What are you doing in this place? Where, is it my church? He said, no, it's not your church. It's not your, but you put your signboard there. Your church, he said, uh, this is church. And he said, no, 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 no. And the member said, no, no, Lord, no, it is not. We are not for you. We are not for you. Because he was driving away the ministers from the churches. So when he came, no, 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 we're not. Said, but you put your symbol, put the ending up with church. I'm telling you, they have taken over the heritage of God. Taking over. You're pastoring over a church, but you're, you're, the, the church is not for Jesus. That's what they're doing now. Members are lost. Members are in strange places. Yeah. It's in my heart is pain. For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourned. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up. And their cause is evil. And their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yeah, in my house I have found their wickedness, saith the Lord. We are for. Their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them. Even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people, Israel, to, to err. The prophets prophesied by evil spirits. They come to you and said, the Lord told me that Lord is demon, is Satan. It's their Lord that told them. They give out prophecies from the devil. They just washed it. Make sure it rhymes with scripture, has the language of scripture, but it's from Satan. 
to confuse you. Yes. They are adulterers. And the young ladies in the choir, they have finished them. Married women, young, young, young ones. They have handled them. They are now going to young men for homosexuality because that's where higher power is. The devil told them so. The devil told them so. Yeah. That's what the Lord is saying. I have also seen, verse 14, in the prophets of Jerusalem and horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evil doers that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Can you see? The prophets are like Sodom. The inhabitants are Gomorrah. It means Sodom influenced Gomorrah to go into this wickedness before God. They commit adultery. They tell lies. They prophesy with evil spirits. What is happening in the churches? And so, the inhabitants and now as Gomorrah. When they sit in the church and are shouting, dancing, Gomorrah business. Because God is not there. The man that is over there or over them is not of God. It's an adulterer. It's a murderer. That's the situation of the church. That is the situation of the church. There is famine of the word of God in the churches of Christ in the world. You, where will you find it? Famine of the word of God in the churches. Now, let me say this. Somebody told me, I think a medical practitioner, either a doctor, he said, there is this uh, um, antibiotics, the one used to treat um, typhoid. What's the name again? Do you remember the name? Amo no. It used to be 3,000 Naira before. It went to 8,000 Naira. Now it is about 40 something thousand Naira. Because the company that used to manufacture it in Nigeria have left, has left. So, but since it is the original that deals with the thing, I, he said somebody had to buy it either 40 or 50 something thousand is cars that is how the word of God is in the churches because they have left God God that was with them giving them the word cheaply upon obedience they said they don't need them he has left to find this word is costly the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11 to 13 Amos chapter 8 verse 11 to 13 behold the days come see the Lord God that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread, no, a taste for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. These are the days. Don't give holy things to dogs. Don't cast your peel before the swine. 
That is what God says. And because these churches have left him, because these churches have gone to doom, he has removed his presence. They cannot find his word there. You go there and see. Whether you hear, go and hear the preaching. If they preach more than 15 minutes, hear what is inside the 15 minutes. They read papers. Things that come out of papers. They read it for the people. That's, they don't have the word. That is why they employ these people who are making funds to come and make fun and they laugh. That's what they fill up the gap. When the gold were removed from the temple, golden utensils, they brought utensils of brass. Temple continued. That is what is happening. New world. They are full of dances and music because there is no world. God has removed it. They don't need it. They are dogs. They are swine. Because the elders and the bishops have rejected God. They are not interested. And the members love to have it so. So God is not there. God is not there. They fetch water and put it in a in drum. You say you want to check whether fish is inside. Is fish inside? Check it one by one. Pour it down. And look at it very well. Bucket by bucket. You won't see fish there. Because it is not meant to keep fish. They brought it for work, for building work, not for fish. And fish cannot just form in, in the body of water, except it is brought into it and is made to keep it. That's why you run to and fro, you cannot find. In that day shall they fear virgins. And young men faint for test. Hey. How would they not faint? The word is not in, their, in, in, in the churches of their fathers. They never taught them the word. They never gave them the bow. They don't know That's it. what They fill up the gap. Yeah. When the gold were they removed from the temple. Gold, gold so, utensils. See them they brought utensils faint of brown. All this wicked dressing you see in these youths is it not fainting if they knew the word they would be like that this pornographic business if they knew the word would they be going that way witchcraft and occultism if they knew the word of God will they be going that way the word is not there that's the situation of the church yeah Yes, the church in our day, the church in our day, truth has fallen on the streets. Bible truths are not known. They are falling on the streets. Yes, truth is no more meaningful. Truth is no more meaningful because the people who say, are we going to eat truth? Life has become eating now. Isaiah chapter 59 from verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward. And justice standeth afar off, for truth is falling in the street, and equity cannot enter. This church. Let there be a case between you and another person. Very clear like that. The church will not want to declare that person guilty. That is They're what afraid. is happening. Or else they have collected bribes. You are shocked. Yes, be shocked. That's the state. Do you know whether they are witches and wizards together? 
Do you know whether they are in the same occultism and must defend one another? Judgment is turned away backward and justice standing afar off. That you are in your right, let them show you justice. Forget that. Not in the decayed church. For truth is falling in the street. Even on the street as you go, you see treachery. You see oppression. You see evil on the street. In the vineyard, the backyard of the church. And equity cannot enter to sit down and bring out good reasoning over the matter. No. If they go in good reason, who, where would they get the money from? If they will sit down and think well, as you are saying, they will affect some rich people. They will affect some men that, that count. So they can't do that. Yeah! Truth, fell it. Apply the law of truth, you will not win. Let, there be, let them be looking for who to be the chairman, who to be the president of the church, who to be what? And then you say, ah, the people know me, I am right, I am righteous, I've been kind. You will fail. They won't vote you. They're looking for somebody that can defend them. When they have done their evil, the person will stand and say, hey, leave him alone. That's the man they're looking for. Somebody that will share money with them. And you stand and say, I am for truth. Truth has failed in our churches. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. <laughs> you say, no, I won't do evil. They will hate you. You want to convict who? You want to disturb the conscience of who? And the Lord saw it. And it displeased him that there was no judgment. No judgment in his church of truth. Which means God is not there. Now, they don't even bother. The Lord handled those people who magnified themselves as Lord. They make themselves abominable. That which is Highly magnified by men is an abominable abomination before God. You don't know. Receive that honor and give it back to God. Come down. Be humble. Don't deceive yourself. That's how the angels honored Satan in heaven, Lucifer. Because of his beauty, God made it to serve him. They began to honor him. And Lucifer got puffed up. I was cast down to the earth and is disturbing people now. Waiting for eternal doom in hell. You want to follow suit? By being proud to be a minister? The spirit of God is a humble spirit. Jesus was born not in a hotel, but in a house where animals were kept and was laid in a manger. I came to you to, as a servant. I am, you call me master and lord. Yes, you do well. And I serve you. Serve others like that. That title is for a servant. But see the church today. Deplorable state of the church. A great percentage of the ministers are agents of Satan. You don't need license to go and start church in some quarters. So anybody starts. They go on course. Before T.B. Joshua died, they go to enroll in it with him. Collect power. Oosh! People are falling, people are falling. Oosh! People are falling. Hey, hey, hey! People become like It's electricity. It's electric power. As it's doing the hand like that, electric shocks are going out from demons the Lord said if that man was not killed by him and that that man remained alive for 10 years you yourself would have known what have, would, have, would have become of Christianity he would have turned it into a theater where people would just go and be watching drama 
and he had this comfort in many countries they don't go by the same name so you won't know but they go by the same principle same principle and people are they're the one making the crowds people are running there now because they want give me now i don't want to repent of my sin a man wanted to drive away his first wife i was telling him don't do it listen to what the bible says bible says when you're married to your wife you don't cast her away you don't separate from her until life do you part if you must separate the men are married the man said i will drive her away and go and join african church because african church allows it i will go and join african church can you see that purposeful evil yes great wickedness great percentage of ministers are agents of satan in second corinthians chapter 11 verse 13 to 15 second corinthians you you can join you can start your church you can leave church you can do it so they should leave you alone second corinthians chapter 11 verse 13 bible is telling us this truth to deliver people for such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of christ and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of lie therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works they are satanic people but nobody bothers as long as they can give them miracle healing miracle healing how long do they last is it those arrangements they're doing for you to worsen your life in sin which person has repented of his sins under the ministry of those people liars when they come to nigeria they talk about the miracle they did in ghana when they go to ghana they talk about the miracle they did in cameroon when they go to cameroon they talk, they talk about the miracle they did in in south africa when they go to south africa they talk about the miracle they did in america when they go to america they talk about the miracle they do in nigeria do one there These are people, cunning people, cunning craftiness. That's what the Bible called them. Cunning craftiness. And human beings are running after them because they are not of God. Mine is, I, I want us to moon. I want us to cry. I want us to weep. As Jeremiah, my eyes, oh my eyes, run it down. Yes, run down my eye because of the people how they have forsaken the Lord now I have said it a remnant has always been saved there's a mystery there's a mystery that even in a ghastly accident not all die some still escape it's very rare that all would be would be dead very very rare even aeroplane may crash and you will see a, a survivor there a remnant must be saved and i'm saying in this state of the church in our day there is a remnant 
Haleluya. Haleluya. Elijah told the Lord, they have killed all the prophets. They have burned down your altars. But the Lord says, not so. I have reserved me 7,000 in Israel. However dark the world goes, the church goes, a remnant has been reserved. Yes. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 9. Isaiah. Chapter 1. Verse 9. The Bible says, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Except in the present time, by the working of God, he has reserved his name in a place. Very few. There should have been total blackout. In some nations, it's total blackout. Maybe the remnant can be a family. Or the remnant can be an individual. In the days of Noah, Righteousness reduced to a family. That was the remnant. That was the remnant. Except for this power of God. That has left him a remnant. The churches in the world would have been altogether Sodom and Gomorrah. Even there, the remnant was lost. And his family. Lord. And his two daughters. You think it's a joke. And some of you accuse. Some of us. Some of these few churches. Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing this? You must do this. If we do it then there's no more hope. If we go to join these other churches to do what they are doing in this present world who don't have the fear of God who don't know the holiness of God who tell lies if we do that then there is no more hope there will be blackout in the book of Romans chapter 11 even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace <laughs> worship the god thank you thank you how will all people reject god is god really a bad person even satan who is bad person how many are refusing him that you think that all would turn away from God. I'm still there for God. Fully for Him. Totally for Him. Surrendered to Him. I'm still there. Let that voice comf com comfort God. I am still there for you, Lord. And as a church, a body of believers, let us also say, Holy Lead Revival Movement is still there for you, Lord! You have said it well. Thank you, Jesus. And the voice of the remnant is crying out in the wilderness of the churches. That is the voice of the remnant that is crying out now. We're crying. What are we saying? Isaiah 
chapter 40, verse 3 to 5, verse 9. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 to 5, and verse 9. It goes. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight the in the desert, a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places plain. Verse 9. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. That is what we are to do now. Remna. Remna. Let's go. Let's shout. Let's shout wherever you are. We are to these churches. Let's cry to them. God is coming. Jesus is coming. Let them make straight the way of the Lord in these churches. The high-minded, high, the proud ones there, let them humble. Those cast down and oppressed, let them be raised up. Cry out. Cry out. Tell them the truth about God. Tell them about God. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them about the gospel of Christ and get them served. That's the work of the remnant. That is our work. The Lord is already coming. And this day, people must rise again. We must prophesy to them. I say we must prophesy to them. Amen. Tell them to arise. Command them to arise. And some save as dragging their souls from fire. Yes. That is what we should do. The voice of the remnant. We must cry. We must shout it. Remnant are the saints in the church in Sardis, to whom the Lord promised would walk with him in white for the awardee. We, these people, are the remnant, and they have this job. Everybody around them was it was a date man. Look at it in Revelation chapter three. Revelation chapter three. I read from verse 1. Yes. The Bible says, And unto the angel of the church in Sardis, Right. This thing said he that had the seven spirits of God, and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest, and art dead, be watchful, strengthen the things which remain, that are all ready to die for i have not found thy works perfect before god remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch i will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour i will come upon thee thou hast a few names even in sadis which have not defiled the, their garments and they shall walk with me in white, for they are ready. Now, those few people in these churches, those few churches that are still the remnant, now the Lord has told us our environment is dead. Our surrounding is dead. The churches around are dead. The church you belong to is a dead church. What should you do? You must rise and shout it. You must rise and preach it without fear. You must rise and challenge it. You must rise and cry out to save the people, to deliver the people. Fear no man. Fear no bishop. Fear no government. Fear nobody. All those people that want to destroy the church and are dragging people, innocent people, ignorant people, they're dragging them, helpless people, they're dragging them to hell. Run and snatch them. As David said, a lion came to the sheep, I ran after the lion and I grabbed it. When it turned against me, I caught it by the beard and slew it. May the power of God cause the remnant to rise. 
May the power of God cause the remnant to rise. May the power of God cause you to rise. Let the Holy Ghost cause you to rise. Rise! And save your people. The dead people. The dead. The dead. The ministers are dead. Their members are dead. You that have been preserved there. This is your time. The four lepers said, the people in the city are about dead people. If we, we have come at, we have come at beauty, we have come, come at bounty, treasures, if we keep quiet, we do not well. Then we are not original citizens. Guilt will be upon us. Evil will come upon our lives. You will yourself backslide. Oh my God. Drag these people I'm seeing. Drag them until they wake up. You know, we had a tradition that if a child refuses to wake up, to, to rise and walk, after one year, second year, uh -uh, you're not walking, they put the child in the basket and began to pull. You must walk. You must walk. Let the Lord put, put you in a basket. You who are here. I'm telling you, who will not preach this gospel? May the Holy Ghost drag you. Go and preach. Go and preach. Go. Go. Go and preach. May the Lord drag you in Jesus' name. That is it. Other the people are dying. They are holding those meetings for nothing. Nothing comes out of it. Yes. The work of a remnant. There has to be regular conference of this remnant to strengthen themselves in the Lord. All the time, we gather ourselves. Don't forget to come here. God has made this place headquarters for remnants. Let them come. Fire will always come to kindle them. They will renew their strength. Anytime we have a program, come here. The Lord will renew your strength. Go and walk over your church. Go and walk over your tribe. Go and walk over your nation. Go and walk over your state. Go and walk over your village. Go and walk over your society. To cause them to be saved. Break the stronghold of that society. By the power of God. Yes. There must be. This remnant must be engaged in radical evangelism. Radical. As you go, now you have heart. They were accusing us to keep you away from us. They were giving you a bad name about us because they knew we had a lie. They, we, they knew we had solution. We, they knew that God has put us on to reach out to the world. But now you have come to see yourself that all those testimonies are lies. All those things they were saying are lies. Now you have heard. You must join us to go to them. Go and save them. Go and save your mother. Go and save your father. All those religious business they are doing. Except Cornelius will accept the gospel from Peter. All the arms did. All that the prayers. All will not end him heaven. Because the truth he doesn't know. He did not know that Jesus Christ had died and resurrected. He was not aware. He was after the order of the Old Testament. And the Bible said without the, remi with the shedding of blood of Christ there is no remission of sin. Go and tell Cornelius that it is Jesus he should believe now. Go and tell your people that they should be born again. They should be holy. All those, all those dresses they are putting on. They dress in earrings. They dress in jewelry. They put on rings. Put on trousers. Put on the, go and tell them. Don't, go and tell those women. Go and tell those, those men that are wearing wedding ring, engagement ring, all this type of ring. Tell them that except they will remove those things and come to Jesus and be clean. They will not see heaven for nothing defiled shall be there. Nothing defiled. Take this gospel. It is the correct one. It is the correct one. It is the doctrine of the remnant. It is this we believe. That's why we stayed back as a remnant while others are destroyed. Yeah, then battle with the Prince of Persia in your land. Battle with those demons that have turned the church to synagogues of Satan. Battle. Hey, a man went to a particular church. He entered there is a church of his community. 
he, this man was born again righteous he said he came home and said let me go to this church he went and sat there and saw demons sitting in the altar and was asking him, what are you doing here because this is my place we were in a place called zing in taraba state for crusade and ministers conference and the lord showed us clearly that a demon came out from underneath the church and came to the door and looked like this which which people are here i'm hearing preaching different from the way it has been who are these people demon hey we will not allow it we will not allow it my brother demons are keeping your people to go to hell will you agree demons are laboring over your tribal people that the truth should not be there will you agree no. thou art my battle axe and weapons of war with thee i will handle satan with thee i will handle satan and i will break his power and set the captive free Who oh, are you there are you ready to go with the Lord? Yeah. Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Rise up and, and, sub, and present yourself to God. And say, God, I will go. God, I will go. God, I will go. I will go. You who are remnant, remain righteous. Don't allow these people to take over your life. They are evangelizing too. They are battling towards you too. They are battling towards the remnant. Because the devil wants to squeeze out everything for himself. Reject him. Whom resists steadfast in the faith. Glory to God. Jesus name. in these churches and are doing what they are doing practicing their corruption come out from sin and evil the power of God can keep you a remnant must be saved Cry out unto the Lord. Cry out unto the Lord. Be that remnant that will cry out. 
Be the remnant that will go forth. the Lord to empower you to give you what it takes to give you what it takes empowerment to cry out empowerment to cry out oh Lord empower your children Give them the boldness. Give them the power. Give them what it takes to go forth. To go forth and cry out. To go forth and cry out. Oh Lord, empower your children. Oh Lord, empower your children. Stand against the powers that are subduing the church. Powers oppressing the church. Powers fighting the church. Come against them. Fight against those powers. Battle against those powers. Fight against those powers. the Lord to revive the church. Ask the Lord to revive the church. Ask the Lord to revive the church. To use you as a tool. To use you as a tool. Stand for the church. To use you as a tool. Oh Lord, revive our church. 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 Chase away by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever is not of God that is in the church, every power, every demon, whatever is not of God that is in the church, ask the Lord to chase it away. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, every power, witches and wizards, principalities and powers standing against the church, subduing the church, oppressing the church, ask the Lord to arise. As the Lord to arise, 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 as the Lord to arise. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Open your mouth and pray. Every mountain standing against the church, every mountain standing against the church, obstacles standing against the church, government standing against the church, 
powers standing against the church, societies standing against the church. Pull them down. Pull them down. Break loose every power. Break loose every power. Break loose every bound. Break loose every captivity. Break loose every power. Holding the church captive. Come against them in the name of Jesus. Come against them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come against them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Who is the owner of the church? Who is the owner of the church? Let us say Jesus upon his church. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 in Jesus' name we pray.